Assisted living facilities are residential care communities that provide housing, meals, and personal care and supportive services to individuals who are unable to live independently. The first assisted living facility opened in 1981 in Portland, Oregon, and today there are more than 3,000 licensed facilities in Florida alone. I've invited Monica Greenlaw and Christine Kennedy from the Southern Healthcare Management to explain how families can navigate through the inventory of assisted living facilities to find one that fits their needs. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Monica, I hear the term assisted living facility. I hear nursing home. What's the difference? Well, there's actually a very big difference. A skilled nursing facility and nursing home is really for a patient that may need 24-hour nursing supervision. And an assisted living would be for a patient that just needs a little bit of help. So perhaps some assistance with meal preparation or some assistance with dressing. But assisted living residents tend to be more independent. What about the cost of an assisted living well, facility? According to the ACA website, it says it's just over $35,000 a year. Mm. So that would average out to between 3000 depending on the facility and the services and the specialized needs of that resident that's going to be staying there in that community. Well, now, does Medicare or Medicaid help with assisted living facilities? Typically, it would be a private pay basis, but there are some types of Medicaid that would cover some of the cost for assisted living facilities. Now, um, there seems to be some variance um, among the facilities. What about the services? Do they vary? The services do vary greatly, actually. There are some assisted living facilities that really, truly are for patients who are quite independent. And there are others that may have a secured Alzheimer's dementia unit. Mm -hmm. So naturally, in those facilities, those individuals would require a bit more help. So the cost would be contingent upon the amount of services the patient requires. Now, would I expect the facility to be able to provide me a list of the services that they provide? Absolutely. And so that is something yes, uh, I that I should ask for. Well, I know that it's difficult to make a decision. So how does a person go about finding an assisted living facility? Well, if you go on the FloridaHealthFinder.gov uh, website, you'll actually be able to, again, just look in um, zip code by name, address, uh, county, and actually pull up all the data for those facilities in your areas for ALFs. And then I, what I would do is go and visit those facilities, narrow it down to two or three that you're interested in, and then do an unscheduled appointment visit and pay attention to what's going on around you. Smells, uh, sounds, things that may irritate or, you know, be a preference for mm -hmm. that resident that you're looking to place there. Now, when I visit an assisted living facility, when I'm making my scouting trip, would I find any reports there? Would they be able to share any information that would give me more yes. insight? Yes, actually they do. They have the inspection reports right there available. And it's kind of the same as a nursing home facility survey. Um, it gives you the same breakdown in information. Is there a ranking system for assisted living facilities? Not at this time, but consumers can do their own checks and balances by touring the facilities. One other thing I'd like to mention is that when you go to floridahealthfinder.com, or, or .gov rather, sorry about that. Um, when you go to that website, it'll give you a list of things that you can look for when you're touring assisted living facilities. So that should be of help to the consumer. And you suggest touring more than once? Absolutely, yes. And you really need to kind of get a feel for the facility. Is it a place you would like to stay? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Well, it sounds as if a Florida Health Finder uh, would be very helpful for me, but is there a national database that covers assisted living facilities? No, currently at this time, they do not have a national database that covers the facilities. Now, uh, I am at a loss in finding an assisted living facility. 
are there groups or is there a service that would help me find a facility? Actually, the Department of um, Children and Families. Children's and Families, mm -hmm. um, Elder Affairs, there's also the ACA website, so there's well, multiple. Well, are there, are there private agencies that are available to help in the locating assisted living facilities? There are, and, and you could search that on the website as well. Okay. Well, it sounds as if this website is very user-friendly, and is there other information that I can get from that website? Really, any question you have um, could probably be answered on that website. It, it truly is kind of all-inclusive. Very good. Ladies, thank you very much for being with us and sharing this information about assisted living facilities. Thank you for thank having you us. For having us. Christine and Monica have been here to explain how to compare assisted living facilities in Florida.